In this video, I'm going to show you how to outline an image here in Illustrator. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can go about doing this. First, if you actually cut out the image, for instance, you see this avocado here. I can create, and I have a whole tutorial on this, I can create a path around the avocado and turn it into a clipping mask. So I could take, for instance, this avocado that is within this image, press the P key for the pen tool, I could create a path all the way around this avocado and then select both of these, right click and go to make clipping mask. Now you can go check out the tutorial in the description on that method. However, if you've already cut something out like a piece of an image here in, of course it's zooming into the wrong spot, here in Illustrator, then you'll have something like this, which is basically this clipping group, clipping mask essentially, that's around an image and it kind of cuts it out. So if you have this, then you can actually put a stroke on it because the clipping mask is a path. So we can come over to our stroke options, add a stroke, like let's say 20 point, and that puts that stroke around there. The only problem with this is that stroke is only able to align to the center, which means it will cover up some of the image. So what we could do is double click in here and now we can actually just grab this clipping mask path right here, press Command or Control C, and then we can double click out of the group. Whoops, we double clicked in a little bit further. So what you can do to make sure you get out is click on this layer one up here, which is the containing layer. I'm gonna zoom out a little and press Command or Control V to paste. And actually you could press, let's back that up. You could press that, but this is where Command or Control F would come into handy. So first I'm gonna get rid of the stroke just by going to zero. Now, since we haven't moved this avocado, but we did copy out the clipping mask, we could press Command or Control F. That is called paste on top. So it pastes in place on top of wherever it came from. Now, with this stroke separated and no longer a clipping mask, we're actually able to click on the stroke options and set it to the outside. Because you'll want your outline to be on the outside of your image, not overlapping the inside or the center of the image, but on the outside. And so once we have that set, we can tweak this however we want by changing the color of the stroke, changing the width of the stroke, or we can also, you know, when you move this around, they move separate. So what you could do is click and drag and make sure you get both of them selected, right click and group it together. Now you have this avocado that's outlined and you can move it around. You can also double click into this group and isolate it and then select the path separately to go back in and edit the stroke if you need to. Then you double click outside the group to go back. So that's how you can outline an image that you've cut out so you already have the clipping mask. But here's another spot. What if we have this image here that is a PNG that we brought in or an image that we brought in that is already cut out? The problem here is that Illustrator doesn't know the edges of the image. You can see how there's just a bounding box around the entire image without it being a line around it. So we need to tell Illustrator where this outside path is. To do that, I think maybe one of the better ways to do it is to first duplicate this. So hold Option or Alt and click and drag to duplicate this out. Now there's something in Illustrator called Image Trace, and we can actually see it in the Properties panel here on the right when we have an image selected. So we see Image Trace right here, and we can click on it. Now we could select something like any one of these, but I might select black and white logo for this one and see how that does. Now when it's a high resolution image, it might take a while, that's okay. We're gonna click okay. So we got this black and white object. It did not come out very well. So we're gonna go in here to image trace and open the image trace panel. Now from here, I think it's probably easier to go to the high fidelity photo preset. So we're gonna go there. Now this one might actually take a second because it's going to replace all of the different pixels and colors in the image with vector shapes. And so once it fits all that together, we'll have something that looks pretty similar to the original photo uh, until you start to zoom in and it'll lose a little quality. However, one thing we want to do here is get rid of this white on the outside. And because it's grayed out, 
we actually need to switch this method from overlapping to abutting, which creates paths that are next to each other rather than overlapping each other. And unfortunately, every time you make little tweaks like this, it's going to redo the entire thing. So one thing we could do is actually undo the preview if you wanted to. So if you know you want to make some adjustments and then preview it, you can undo preview and then go through that. But we're also going to ignore color and hopefully this changes to white. It did. So we'll see after this that we're actually going to have no white box around our avocado. And so once we have that, what we'll be doing next is simply expanding all of this. So right now it's in image trace mode and it will stay in image trace mode until we expand it. We can see expand and the quick actions here on the right in the properties panel. We click expand and it's going to set all of those vectors. And you can see just how many vectors there are. It's a ridiculous number of vector shapes to make this avocado look uh, photo like high quality um, with fidelity and everything. So what we would want to do here is simply come to the Pathfinder option with this avocado selected and we're going to click to unite. So that's going to unite everything, which also might take a second because there's so many paths. And once it unites everything, we're going to get start to get a more solid shape. So the whole thing we're doing here is trying to combine everything together. I'm going to click unite again to see how far down we can unite all these paths. So I clicked it a couple times. We got it to this level. Now what happens here is we do have an outline. You can see the outline around the outside, and that's what we need to get down to. All these little bits and pieces on the inside we want to leave behind, or else they'll kind of mess up what we're doing. So we're going to double click in here, remember to isolate this group. And what we need to do is get down into this outline. So I'm going to keep double clicking, and first I'm going to zoom in so you can kind of see where I'm clicking. So I'm not clicking on all these little pieces, I'm trying to click outside of that on this big empty area. So we're going to double click a couple times until we can get down into the path. You can see here we're in the layer, the group, and the compound path. Now inside this compound path we should be able to select the edge of the path without having all of these pieces selected. And once we do that I'm going to copy that out. So I'm going to press Command C or Control C. And from there I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then click on layer 1 to go back outside. I'm going to scroll down a little here and press Command or Control V to paste that path in. So you see now we have the path without all the inside pieces. We're getting closer. Basically what we're doing is taking that image and converting it to a path around the outline of the image, which we can do here in Illustrator. It just takes a few steps. I'm going to switch the fill to the stroke just by clicking this double arrow right here. And now I'm going to go over to stroke and let's make that 20 point again. And of course it's going to look jagged and weird and that's okay because we can come into the stroke options and we can go to the corners and we can do a round join. And so once we do that, it really fixes a lot of those problems. We can also do some simplify options and stuff. However, I kind of want to keep it as organic as I can, so I'm going to leave it as is. Now we can align the stroke to the outside again, just like that. And once we have it aligned to the outside, we can actually combine it with our original PNG. So remember that PNG image over here? We can bring that down here. We could select both, right click, and or no, not right click, select both, and then go to the alignment panel, align center, both horizontal and vertical. And now we have a stroke around the outside of this avocado. Now I'm going to make an adjustment to that stroke to make it white. And one more thing, when we do this method, I'm not sure how well it does the image trace around the outside edge of the object versus the actual outside edge of the avocado. So one thing I'm going to do here is click on the avocado, right click, and then bring to front. So we go to arrange, bring to front. That brings it in front of our stroke. Now I'm going to come out here and click on the stroke. And this stroke, I would rather be aligned to the center. That way it covers any gapping that I have between the stroke and the edge of the image. Now it will also overlap the image. So I would need to go with a 40 point stroke to get the same effect as a 20 point stroke. But that's okay. Now I know there's no, there's not going to be any weird uh, see-through gap between the stroke 
and the edge of the image. But now I have the same exact thing as I had up here. This with the clipping mask cut out, this a PNG I brought in that is outlined. What we did was we combined that PNG into a vector and then merged everything together and pulled out the path that's around it. And we used that path to make the outline. And now we can, of course, group this together, just like we did the other guy. And we have two versions here that are essentially the same thing. Now you might notice when I hover over this, you can see a big square outline. That's because the original image is still in there. So I actually cut this avocado out from this image up here, which is kind of meta because this avocado is actually cut out too. But it's within an image that was the thumbnail for the um, other image cutout tutorial I have in the description. That's how you can outline images here in Adobe Illustrator.